Hey guys, welcome back to Pinch and Pennies with Priscilla and I've been out shopping again. I went to the grocery store, I went to Giant to get these items, I went to another CVS to get those, and I went to Safeway over here. Now as you can see, I picked up a lot of the Pick Sweet vegetables because I absolutely love these things. This is a great way to be able to take your food to work and save money and also stay on a diet. <laughs> because these are little individual things they're already seasoned they taste great you guys have to try these veggies and if you're on um, a program like I am I'm doing Weight Watchers and so you can easily key in your numbers right here and it'll tell you how many points you've used and look at this this has two servings in it and it's 40 calories per serving so if you eat this whole thing that's only 80 calories and two grams of fat you can't beat that. That is a fantastic um, meal that's low in calories. Add in some like um, grilled chicken or something like that. Absolutely great. And so I had to pick up some more of them because I really, really like them. And so what I did was I did two separate transactions, 11 in each one because they're on sale for 99 cents. Since I had to meet that $10 mark, I added one extra one. So I did 11 in each transaction so that I can get these $5 coupons here. Now, um, the Alexa sweet potato fries, no coupons, but I had a rain check that I've been holding on for a while and I absolutely love sweet potato fries. I decided to go ahead and use the rain check since I saw them on the shelf. So I paid $2.49 each for these, okay? No coupons on those. The Eggo waffles, I got these because they are two for $5 and because they are new items. I was able to use the um, $5 coupon on these. Now, what I did was I put the, all four of them in one transaction because I had two of the coupons that I was going to use, which would have made these totally free. But no, the register would not take the second coupon. So here is my receipts, you guys. This was my first transaction right here where I picked up the first 11. So I paid out of pocket $10.89, all right? Um, this was my second transaction, and I... Um, Wanted to use the $5 um, coupon that I got from my first transaction, but they wouldn't let me use it. It had to be on new items. So as you can see, I bought the fries and everything, and I paid $9.96 for that. Um, my third transaction right here, I got more of the Pick Sweet um, veggies here. And this time, she let me use one of the coupons. And I'm like, okay, why didn't she do that the first time? So in this time, she um, let me use one of the coupons. So as you can see, I took $5 off of that. So I paid $5.89 out of pocket on that one. Um, so what I did was I went back to, um, and th this is the Eggo Waffles. I also was trying to use, two, this is where I was trying to use two of those coupons so I can get these for totally free. But the system only let it one of them goes through. So what I did was go to customer service. They did some return transaction or whatever, and they gave me back my $5 in cash, and I gave them the coupon, all right? So it's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss on whether or not they let you use that $5 coupon on any frozen item. But the coupon does state it's supposed to be on any item that has the new on it, any frozen items. So definitely, if you don't want to go through the hassle, just get those items that have new on it, all right? So that's what I did at Safeway. And so I still have $15 worth of coupons left to do shopping at a later time, which I plan on doing as soon as I get my transactions together. <laughs> now, Giant was a better deal for me today because, as I told you guys yesterday, Giant had the spend 25, get the $10 coupon. And remember I told you guys they had the 10 for 10 on the Tortino's Pizza Rolls. And they had the 10 for 10 on the single serve ice cream from Ben & Jerry's or Friendly's. So that's what I focused on, okay? I knew I had coupons for the Tortinos, so I knew it would help me out. The Tortinos, I bought 10 of those. I used 10 35 cents off coupons. Now these are a dollar each. The 35 cent coupon doubled to 70 cents. And so therefore, each of these cost me 30 cents, okay? So I needed to do a total of $25. So I had $10 here. And so I decided to do 15 of these dollar ice creams here. The bigger ones are Friendly's. Let me show you what kind I got. So 
So the bigger ones are friendly and the smaller ones are Ben and Jerry. Okay, so I got 15 total of those, right? So after my coupons from my Tortinos, this is basically $25 and some change, okay? After my coupons for Totinos, I ended up with a balance of $17.57. As you can see from my receipt right here, it shows you before savings, after savings, all that stuff. And so my total after my coupons was $17.57. And so I got back the $10 right here. So basically I paid $7.57 for all of this. And so therefore each one of these would have cost me 30 cents each. That is a great price, 30 cents each. So um, now I have $10 that I can use on a future order. Um, I mean, a <laughs> future shopping trip if I want to. And I'm highly considering going back because I see some items that I think might have some good coupons, which is the friendly stuff over here. I mean, the Fridays, I think they have coupons. Um, of course, we got the Eggo coupons. And I think Smart Ones has coupons. The Hot Pockets has coupons. And the um, Hot Pocket Snackers has coupons. Um, of course, I have, I think I have about five more of these Tortino Pizza coupons. The Ilios has coupons as well. And I think Bird's Eye has coupons. So I'm going to take a look at what's going on in the database and see if I can put together uh, another transaction with this $10 that I'll come out my pocket with little or no money. So that is what I did at Giant and Safeway. And I went back to a second CVS to look for some more folic acid. And as you can see, I found three. And for some reason, they had the same three on the shelf as the other store. So I don't know if they're just putting out three at a time. I don't know. But I just thought that was kind of weird. But so I got those at another CVS. Here's my receipt right here. And at this particular store, the girl actually put through um, all of the CVS coupons for me. The first one scanned through, the other ones beeped, and she manually put them in. So I used four of those CVS coupons for $3 off, and I used two of the manufacturer coupons. Um, and my total was $0.28, cents, which I put on a gift card. So I'm still out of pocket, zero. And... I am on my way to getting another cash card. So as you can see, for the $30 deal, I still need $13.58 to get another $10 cash card right there. So that was CVS. Now, I want to show you guys what I found in my purse. See that? One of those $13 up rewards. <laughs> Luckily for me, look what it was on the brain strong. Luckily for me, it has not expired. <laughs> What's today? Today is the 11th, so I have to go to Rite Aid today. And I had, did not plan on going to Rite Aid, but I'm not going to let this $13 go to waste. So therefore, I'm going to have to take a look at what's going on at Rite Aid and see what I can do with this 13 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm breaking my... Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm breaking my rule of not going to Rite Aid right now because I'm not letting this $13 um, um, expire, okay? So I will be going to Rite, Rite Aid later on today, all right? So that's what I did in this particular trip, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Happy shopping, happy savings. Bye.